Today we're making a wall-mounted pull-up bar out of plywood that fits onto a modified French cleat system. This is the first prototype for a wall-mounted home gym that I'm currently designing for my new home. I'll go into the design process at the end of the video, but let's start with how I made these components. For the pull-up bar, I just drew it in Illustrator and then CNC'd it with my X-Carve Pro. I like using a CNC because I can incrementally adjust the design, but you could make this with a jigsaw. I cut the tabs to separate the pieces and then use a flush trim bit on my router to shave down those tabs. For the pull-up bar, I'm going with two layers of three quarter inch plywood, but you could go thicker if you wanted to. This walnut veneer Europly is quite strong, so if I was going with a pine plywood, I might consider adding another layer. I wanted the grip to kind of feel like an ax handle and not a dowel. So I used roundover bits on my palm router to give this one and a half inch thick slab of plywood a nice hand feel. I CNC'd a T-shaped slot on the inner layer of plywood so that the support pieces can fit right in. Now I did have to round those over since this recess was cut with a round router bit. When I do pull-ups, I don't always pull symmetrically. So I glued on these two little side supports just to increase the amount of width of French cleat contact. Put some glue into the slots, assembled the pull-up bar, and then drove in a couple of screws. On future versions, I might figure out a way to hide all the fasteners, but for now I'm just using wood putty. The track features a doubled up French cleat and a top ledge that will allow me to lock accessories like this pull-up bar in place so that if I pull really hard, the bar doesn't come off the track. I cut strips of the plywood by using spring clamps to clamp down a straight edge and then cutting the pieces with my circular saw. I glued two of the strips together so that I can have a one and a half inch thick piece for the French cleat. I set the blade on my saw stop table saw to 45 degrees and ripped this angled cut. The edges were pretty sharp so I set the blade back to 90 and just trimmed off a little bit. This also gives me a little more surface area against the fence for ripping that second angled cut. I sanded the pieces to 220 grit using my orbital sander and used my Craig pocket hole jig to drill some pocket holes in the back of this 13 inch wide panel that's going against the wall. I glued the French cleat to the panel and then drove in some screws from the back side. This 13 inch wide back panel will protect my drywall and give me a lot of attachment points to go through the drywall and into the studs with long screws. This three inch top ledge is going to be used to secure the workout equipment so that it doesn't come off the track. I applied a little glue and then used the pocket holes to drive in some screws. I'm finishing the pieces with Minwax Polyacrylic. I just applied two coats with a light sanding of 320 grit paper in between. I cut two scrap strips of plywood, six feet and two inches long, and I used those as temporary supports to make it nice and easy to set this track level. I drove in two three inch long screws every 16 inches. I'll show a little bit more about the locking system and talk about the rest of the components that I'm going to design and make for this French cleat home gym system after a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Athletic Greens, and Athletic Greens is empowering people to take ownership of their health. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a nutritional drink that has me really excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. AG1 is more than a greens powder, it's also a daily multivitamin, multimineral, pre and probiotic, immunity support, and more. I really appreciate AG1 when I'm having lunch on a construction site, it's way easier to pack this than it is to try to put a whole bunch of vegetables on a sandwich. And now that I'm in my 40s, I'm actively considering healthy aging. AG1 provides antioxidants that counteract the impact of free radicals that cause cell damage. It is an absolutely effortless daily habit. One scoop or travel packet of AG1, eight ounces of water every day, that's it. And it's gluten-free, has no eggs, no sugar added, nut-free, dairy-free, no GMOs, no herbicides or pesticides, no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. So go to athleticgreens.com slash homemade modern to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to athleticgreens.com slash homemade modern to get started on your order. And it tastes good. Okay, so the system works pretty well. I probably could add a couple more inches of length to 
push this out from the wall maybe four inches more. My knees occasionally on later reps of pull-ups were starting to brush against the wall as I sort of built up momentum and started swinging a little bit. But I don't really think it needs to be too much farther out. Now, I'm not so sure about this profile or this shape. In general, I wanted something that looked sort of interesting and that offered a variety of different uh, sort of hand position options. I think we can take this a little farther and really develop a more versatile piece that goes onto the front of this contraption. I also want to develop a device that has uh, perpendicular grip so you can do pull-ups this way as well. Those are something that I always feel are a little bit easier on my shoulders. But for now, I'm trying to come up with the rest of the attachments to this French cleat system. Pull-ups are one of my favorite exercises, but I want to do dips, so that'll involve something that really comes down and then goes out from the wall. I think that'll really test uh, the ability to sort of cantilever in length, because if I'm doing the dips facing out from the wall, um, you know, you have to have a lot more clearance for your sort of uh, feet if you tuck them up behind you. This ceilings in this studio are eight feet. So by putting the bottom of the, the track at six foot two, uh, I had plenty of head clearance. Now, I can't do muscle ups on, on this contraption, um, but I think if I had like, you know, in a more sort of like warehouse type shop space, um, and probably in the new house, I'll probably be able to set it up where I can do full muscle ups on this. And that'll really test out whether or not this kind of locking system on the top works. Now, all this is is just layered up plywood with leather on it. And that just allows me to slide this in between uh, the top of this device and the underside of the shelf. And if you also notice, I radiate or, or routed a radius on the edge of that shelf just to make it easy for this to slide right in. I think that'll hold up pretty well. I could double that up or add additional screws from the top down to really anchor that connection. But I think unless you had like a lot of people doing pull-ups at the same time and really having a, a lot of force in them to put a up pressure on that, I think I think this system should be fine. Now because the track is a full 13 inches uh, wide, I have a lot of sort of height between the two screws. Now if I really wanted to hide the top screw, I could kind of put it and tuck it behind uh, the, the French cleat track itself so you wouldn't really see it. As it is, I don't really mind you know a few screw heads showing, particularly if they're finished screws. Um, I think you could develop like a little wood plug to cover them if you're going for a real finished look. My intention for this is to sort of work through the design. I'll be building more sections of the track and this will be going into the guest bedroom slash home office of my new house that I'm currently building. And my thinking there is that most of the time I'll be using an outdoor gym that I'm also working on right now, but sometimes the weather in Joshua Tree is uh, either way too uh, hot or it can actually get quite cold here as well so I wanted to have like a, an indoor gym as well and I don't want to you know put a bunch of bulky equipment in the guest room that takes up space and compromises the ability to be used as a home office and as a as a place for guests to stay so I really like this idea of like the French cleat system uh, I might try to figure out a way to make these compress and fold up even smaller. So if we're using the French cleat system to hang a desk from it and use it for the office setup, um, these things can be stored away or just pushed to the side. But that's basically the intention is to develop a really strong French cleat track and then develop a whole bunch of de devices that clip onto it that can be used for any kind of secondary function for the room, home office, gym, etc, etc. So let me know what you think in the description below. Give me your ideas on attachments. Probably won't be doing a squat rack. I think uh, even though this is super sturdy, I think that's just a little bit beyond the capabilities of wall mounted systems. I should also note that it was really important to use a stud finder to confirm the location of the studs before driving the screws through this track and into the walls. Obviously, if you're going to be doing pull ups or any sort of exercise where you're you know, you're really trying to max out the reps and then also uh, you don't want to be really exhausted and at the same time fall off the wall and have everything land on you. So I think pull-ups will be good, dips will be good. I might look into it for kind of storage of dumbbells and kettlebells, but again, I think those are probably better from the ground up. 
And this isn't the first time I've built DIY fitness equipment. Uh, check out the playlist and there's a whole bunch of fitness equipment from a two by four bench press device, which I still use on my sort of outdoor gym, uh, all the way to one of my favorites, which is the gym in the box. Oh, this isn't even the first wall mounted one. I actually did a wall mounted uh, CrossFit style gym. So check that out as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know. Um, I'm not a fitness professional. I will be collaborating with one soon to kind of uh, help refine some of the finer points of like hand position and make sure I'm doing things in an ergonomically correct way. So look forward to a follow-up video where I kind of unveil the full minimalist wall-mounted gym. So thanks a lot. Bye, everybody.